Que pasa, YouTube? This is your girl, VLA. And this one is for the girls and guys. I'm going to bring up a touchy subject of age differences in relationships and how this can negatively affect those involved. Now, before I start, I want you to know I'm speaking straight from my own personal experiences and mistakes I've made in the past. So please don't take this as criticism if you're currently in a relationship like this. So hear me out and you'll understand where I'm coming from. So let's begin. So I'm going to start with the ladies and myself first. When I was about 14, I had met this guy on this website called Urban Chat, who I thought was really cute. On his profile, he had said he was 20. Needless to say, on my profile, I had my age at 18. Eventually, I gave him my number. We hit it off immediately. Luckily, I stayed about two hours away from him, and he was having car trouble. Yeah, we were talking about sex, life, and a whole bunch of other interesting topics. He was genuinely a great guy, and after a couple of months of talking, we ended up telling each other the fateful words, I love you. What I didn't understand or care about at the time was how the rest of society, including the law, would perceive my relationship to this much older guy. Our relationship was based on a lie he knew nothing of. With the way we were talking on the phone, I can only imagine what would have happened if we had met in person. My father surely wouldn't have approved, and he most likely may have ended up in jail facing statutory rape charges. My cousin, unfortunately, wasn't as lucky, as he had met a girl at a 21 and older club. See, some clubs here used to not check for females' ID if they looked old enough. I know because me and my friends used to sneak out and go. Well, my cousin is from Detroit, and he moved down here to help out his mom. He was 22 when he met this girl who was 15. Just like my situation, they ended up falling in love with him unaware of her actual age. She had gotten pregnant and told my cousin it was his, but then avoided him and tried to cut off contact with him. Any good man would be majorly concerned at this point and do his best to track down the girl he got pregnant. Well, she couldn't keep the secret from her parents, and as fate would have it, on the same day they found out she was pregnant, he showed up at their house. Her father was a cop, for Christ's sake, and was infuriated and immediately arrested my cousin. That happened five years ago, and he's still in prison and won't get out until 2026. When he does get out, he'll have to register as a sex offender and can't be around schools, parks, playgrounds, or daycares. The girl ended up having an abortion, and I'm sure she has moved on with her life, and may even be married now. My cousin cries almost every time I get a chance to talk to him, saying what his life could have been. His child is dead, and his future is heartbreaking. I resented the girl, but I also resent myself because the same could have happened to the guy I was talking to. See, a lot of girls don't realize just how fast things can happen and how much a simple lie could completely destroy the lives of good men. In prison, they don't treat guys with sex offenses very kindly. Most of them end up being sexually taken advantage of themselves and targeted for other forms of violence. After so many cases, those clubs thankfully closed down and it's no longer possible to get in being underage, even with a fake ID. I can't imagine living with myself knowing that an innocent guy has basically lost his life because he was too naive to find out the girl's actual age before sex. You would think this is a rare occurrence, but it's not. So the whole saying of AJ none but a number is foolish if you're a guy. In America, only guys tend to suffer legal consequences from sex. This doesn't exclude the guys that lied to obtain these girls. One of my best friends and I met this guy at our church when we were about 16, she was 15. After church, we would go hang out at the park across the street. He approached us and was very charming. My friend was really into him and she gave him her number. Neither of us thought to ask how old he was because once he asked our age, we were truthful. He thought nothing of hearing our age, so we assumed he was the same. Well, my friend was kind of a hoe, so she ended up having sex with him after they had went out and she had gotten pregnant. The guy turned out to be 28 with a wife and kids, but I swear he looked about 17. Once his wife found out, she threatened to have him arrested if he continued on. So my friend ended up alone with a child she can't take care of and put the baby up for adoption. Well, thanks for letting me get this off my chest, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give me some likes, 
comment, share, and subscribe if you're new. This is That Girl VLA signing off, and as always, tenga buen día.